Hey there Wargamers and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. In this video we'll be painting a bugbear from uh, the Reaper Mini collection. Uh, starting off here with Ruddy Fur and Aged Hide. We're going to use uh, the Aged Hide over all of the uh, skin body parts and then Ruddy Fur over all of the fur. And as always guys, be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to take advantage of the buy six, get three free army painter paints. Uh, that deal is still active and be sure to check that out in the links below. And we'll move on to ruddy fur here for all of the fur areas on the bugbear. Be sure to be careful of all of the cloth areas and the weapons that we haven't painted quite yet because we are going to be using speed paint throughout this entire uh, tutorial. And when you get to the exposed skin areas of the model, you can kind of use this color to blend the two together where the fur and the skin meet. And from there, we're gonna move on to dusk red using this over all of the cloth areas of the model. And if you start with a good Xenophil dry brush highlight like I did on this model, the speed paints will pull a lot of the heavy lifting for you and do a lot of the detail work on their own, especially a model like this that has a lot of fur on it. Moving on here, I'm using Bony Matter on all of the claws on his hands and his feet. And this is a very light color. You may actually want two coats of this once the first coat is dry. Um, just depending on how dark you want those claws to be. And again, if you're getting low on Army Painter paints, be sure to check us out at wargamesdelivered.com where we still have the buy six, get three free Army Painter paints uh, active on the store. And I also use Noble Skin on all of the wood areas like the back of his shield. And moving on, we're going to switch over to the Speed Paint Metallics using Broadsword Silver over all of the chains, uh, the armor pieces, and you can kind of just mix and match with Talos Bronze, the uh, bronze color we're going to be using as well, uh, on the armor pieces to get the best effect. And since we're using Speed Paint Metallics over regular Speed Paints, uh, you'll want to be very careful over the areas that we've already painted. Try to be as neat as possible with your brushwork and just take your time if you need to. And now we're going to switch over to Talos Bronze and finish up the remaining armor pieces, uh, his belt buckle, and any other kind of armor or jewelry that he would be wearing. And again, keep in mind, you can visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to uh, take advantage of the buy six, get three uh, free paints offer. And again, just try to be as neat as possible in this stage. Try not to uh, make any mistakes. Although if you do, just go ahead and go back to matte white or uh, a lighter kind of gray and just cover that uh, mistake up and go back over with the color that it needs to be. The Talos Bronze uh, does kind of benefit from two uh, coats, so just wait for the first coat to dry. Shouldn't take too long with the speed paints and then just go over it one more time for a really nice effect. And off camera, I used plate mail metal to uh, dry brush some highlights on the silver metallics. And now we're going to switch over to uh, the acrylic line to fill in some more detailed areas on the model here. Starting off with pure red, we're going to cover up the tongue and the mouth of the model here. And since bugbears are generally evil creatures, I went ahead and used the same color on his eyes as well. Moving on to our next acrylic, I'm using scar tissue over all of the runes on his belt buckle and the uh, little runes below as well. Once again, if you guys would like to try out any of these paints, be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com uh, and take advantage of the buy six, get three free army painter paints to try out any of these paints if you like how they look. And for our last acrylic step, we're gonna use hemp rope over all of the tassels that are holding up the runes uh, below his belt. We'll also use this on the main uh, belt as well. Really any remaining leather parts or straps we can use with this color to finish up the model. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed 
uh, this painting tutorial. We do plenty of painting tutorials. We are focusing on our historicals pretty heavily at the moment, uh, so be sure to check in for uh, new bolt action content almost daily. We, uh, we have great videos with Josh working on those almost every day. And again, at wargamesdelivered.com, we have the buy six, get three free paints promo. Uh, be sure to check us out and uh, check out that promo before it goes away. And after two thin coats with the hemp rope, that should finish the model off. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to the channel for more content on painting miniatures and uh, battle reports closely coming in the future. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.